in this slide i am going to show you another way of copying the object or make a separate replica of the object in java and that is by using a clone function that is available in java and uh, in order to do that first you have to realize the clonable interface that is uh, uh, well clonable is an interface that is available in uh, java already and what you have to do you have to just write this implements uh, clonable uh, in your code uh, in the class uh, for which you want to make a copy so here i am using the same uh, class like this uh, another class that we have used to understand copy constructor uh, but this time just using uh, the clonable interface the content of the class is almost uh, same that it has an another classes parameterized constructor a copy constructor then a two string function uh, then a set variables function everything is same as it was in the last uh, couple of uh, videos but the only difference is, is now it is implementing a clonable interface and since clonable is an interface as you know that you have to re-implement all its abstract function if you want to realize that interface so this clonable interface basically have has an abstract function called clone that you need to re-implement in your uh, class so uh, well this uh, part basically showing you the syntax for how to re-implement the clone interface to make a copy so in order to do that you have to use like protected object then clone function name it does not have any parameters and then throws clone not supported exception so why object because as you can understand clone is basically making a different copy of the object right so that's why it is creating and then returning an object that's why the return type is a uh, object and now when you are calling this uh, clone function there is a chance that it can throw a clone not supported exception so this type of exception may may arise so that's why by using this throws keyword you are telling the java compiler that well there is a possibility that this uh, type of exception this specific type of exception may occur in this code so that's the syntax for calling the clone function or re-implementing or overriding the clone function and the function content you can write inside this opening and closing curly brace and the function content is nothing but just return then super dot clone so this clone function is basically creating the copy of the object and returning that one so you may now think that well why this method uh, is so important because the copy constructor method was very direct right so it was just uh, uh, copying each of the field uh, one after another and uh, it was very easy to understand so why do i need to make everything complicated by taking an uh, in, by making use of an interface and then overriding its abstract function and all these things well so it has several advantages one of them is you can achieve a field by field copy and entire you can make a separate replica of the object just by one single line of code that is return super dot clone now why this is important let's say that the class has instead of only two variables that is var1 and var2 now the class has thousand different variables 
so what do you need to do inside this copy constructor you have to write thousand assignment statements so do you think that's a very feasible or that's a very good idea well of course not so in that case you can get a real advantage of this cloned method 